Hey friends, my name is C e, and you're watching E Miss Easy. And welcome to a new video for A Level for the Medicine today. We have 1.24 multiplying complex numbers for the questions video. And we'll get started with the first question, but before we get into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And we'll get started with question 2, or the first question. And these questions are from exercise 1C from the core peer textbook, so you can check it out yourself. But anyways, here's question 2, or the first question. So, uh, A. Simplify 4 plus 5i times 4 minus 5i in the form of a plus bi. So we can see that it's a difference of 2 squares, right? So 2a will be, oops, just write it here. 2a is 4 plus 5i times 4 minus 5i. So we can see that we can basically just use the FOIL method to expand the brackets. So the first sum will be 4 times 4, right? So it's 16. 16. And then the second term will be 4 times minus 5i. And the third term will be 5i times 4, right? But as you can see, those two terms cancel out because 4 times 5 minus 5i is, is minus 20i. And 5i times 4 is 20i. So 20i minus 20i just cancels out. So then the, the last term or the fourth term will be 5i minus uh, times by minus 5i. So 5 times minus 5 is minus 25. Minus 25. But i times i is equal to minus 1. That means it will be minus 25 times minus 1 equals plus 25, which is equal to 41. Because if you just put into the calculator, 16 plus 25 is 41. So then this basically means that the a is 41 and the b the bi is the imaginary part, which is 0, because there's no imaginary part. And part b, simplify 7 minus 2i plus 7, uh, times by 7 plus 2i. So 7 minus 2i times by 7 plus 2i. It's the same as just now when we use the FOIL method to expand the brackets. So the first term would be 7 times 7, which is 49. And then the third term, sorry, the second term and the third term cancel out because it's 7 times by 2i and minus 2i times by 7, and they cancel out because the one is 14i, and the other one is minus 14i. And the fourth term, or the last term, will be minus 2i times by 2i. So minus 2 times by 2 is minus 4, but minus 4 times by minus 1 is equal to, um, to 4. So it'll be 49 plus 4, and therefore 49 times uh, plus 4 is 53. Right, so, so part C. Comment on your answers to parts A and B. So you can see that when it's a difference of two squares for a complex bracket, like a complex uh, number like bracket, you can see that the complex part cancels out. And what you're adding up is the square of both numbers. Like 16 is 4 squared and 5 is 5 squared. Similarly in part B, 49 is 7 squared and 4 is 2 squared. So we can conclude that in the form of a plus sorry in the form of a plus bi times by a minus bi is basically equal to a squared plus b squared. And this only works out because it's um it's a complex bracket. It contains the imaginary unit. And for question three, given that a times uh, a plus three i times one uh, one plus bi equals twenty five minus thirty nine i. Find the two possible pairs of values for a's and for a and b. So we can just first expand this bracket right here. So if you expand it, it will be uh, the first term will be a, the second term will be a times bi, which is um, which is sorry, it'd be a. The second term is a times bi, which is a uh, a bi. And the third term is three i times one, which is three i. And the fourth term will be three i plus three i times by bi. And 3 times b is 3b, and with a minus, so it'd be 3b. And we know that this equals 225 minus 39i. So we can now just group the terms on the left-hand side right here. So we can group the imaginary and the non-imaginary. Non so the non-imaginary or the real part would be a minus 3b, a minus 3b. So it'd be a minus 3b plus the real uh, the imaginary part, which is a b i times uh, plus 3i and I can just factorize the i straight away to get a b plus 3 times by i equals 25 minus 39i 5 minus 39i 
So from here, you can notice that the terms actually um, match up. Oops, let me just write it clearly. 39i. So we can just group the left-hand side and the right-hand side in terms of real and imaginary. So you can notice that this part here is the real part. And, oops, and this part here is the imaginary part. So what we can do is that we can equate the different parts. So it will be a minus 3b equals 25. And ab plus 3 equals minus 39. So now we can just uh, solve for a and b straight away. So a, this will be ab equals minus 42. And that's and therefore we can do a equals minus 42 over b. So, so now we can just substitute into the first equation here to get minus 42 over b minus 3b equals 25. So, and therefore this gets us minus 42 minus 3b squared equals 25. Let me just write it up here. So we can just re rewrite the quadratic equation to get 3b squared. Oops. It'll be 3b squared plus, uh, oh, sorry, this should be 25b, sorry. It'll be 3b squared plus 25b plus 25b plus this term right here, which is 42. 42 equals 0, sorry. And now we can just use the quadratic equation to solve for this. And I'm going to use my calculator to save some time. So the A coefficient is 3, B coefficient is 25, and the C coefficient is 42. And what you can probably do here is that you can divide everything by 3 to make it easier. But the two values of B are B equals minus 7 over 3. So B equals, B equals minus 7 over 3, and B equals minus 6. So now we have to find the corresponding B, uh, the corresponding A values using this equation right here. This equation, because we know that this links A and B together. So when B equals minus 7 over 3, A would be minus 42 over minus 7 over 3, which is 18. And when B equals minus 6, A would be minus 42 over minus 6, which is 7. So for the answer, you can write the following and say that A and B could be the, the following pairs, right? So the uh, a bracket, so A, B could be 18 and 7, uh, minus 7 over 3, minus 7 over 3, or like comma, I should have run it here, but there's no space. And the other pair are, uh, is 7 and minus 6, like so, and that's the answer. And we have question 7, which is f of z, which is a function, equals 2z squared minus z plus 8. So part a, find uh, f of 2i. So we basically just substitute z by 2i right here. So 7a, 7a, we substitute z by 2i. So it'll be 2, 2i squared minus 2i plus 8, which is equal to 4, uh, 2 squared is 4. But then i squared is minus 1, so it would be minus, like so, minus 2i plus 8. And we can simplify it to uh, simplify it further. So 2 times minus 4 is minus 8, and minus 8 cancels out with 8. So you're just left with minus 2i, like so. And for part b, um, f of 3 minus 6i. So we have f of 3 minus 6i will be 2 times 3 minus 6i squared minus 3 minus 6i and it's important that you include this bracket right here because a negative and a negative actually becomes a positive so it's quite crucial to let you write the whole bracket so this will be plus 8 and then you'll just be you can just expand the bracket 3 minus 6i and 3 minus 6i and minus 3 plus 6i plus 8 and therefore, it will be 2 times, the first term is 9, uh, nine and the second term and the third term, it will be three, 3 times minus 6, which is minus 18, and minus 18 plus, minus, sorry, minus 18i plus minus 18i, because it will be the two of the same terms. It'll, therefore, it will be minus 36i. And the last term will be minus 6i times by minus 6i. Minus 6 times minus 6 is, minus, uh, is 36, 
but then uh, the i times i is minus, therefore it will be minus 36, minus 3 plus 6i, plus 8, like so, right? So now we can just simplify it further by just multiplying uh, everything by 2 on the bracket right here. So 18 minus 72i, minus 72, minus 3 plus 6i, plus 8, and therefore I'll just write it out here. Therefore, the final answer, if you were to collect terms, and let's just collect the non, uh, uh, the real part first, it would be 18 minus 72 plus 3 plus 8, which is minus 43. And the imaginary part would be minus 72i plus 6i, which is minus 6i. And that's the answer. And lastly, here we have the last question for question 9. So given that i to the power of 1 equals i and i to the power of 2 equals minus i, Write i to the power of 3 and i to the power of 4 in their simplest form. So 9a right here. Oops. 9a. And this question is related to the powers of i that I mentioned in the last rules and examples video. So given that i, so we can, we can write i to the power of 3. So we know that i to the power of 3 is basically i to the power of i squared times by i, right? Using the powers of in, the laws of indices. And we know that minus uh, the i to the power of 2 is minus 1. Therefore, minus 1 times by i will be minus i, like so. And for i to the power of 4, it's basically i squared times i squared. And we know that i squared is minus 1. Therefore, minus 1 times minus 1 is 1, like so. And for part b, so we know that uh, i to the power of 5 is equal to i to the power of 4 times by i, right? Because basically you add the power up in the powers of indices. And i to the power of 4 is equal to 1, as mentioned above. Therefore, it will just be i, because it's 1 times i. And then i to the power of 6 is basically i to the power of 5 times by i. And therefore, it will just be i times by i, which is minus 1. And it basically just repeats as a whole cycle. So i to the power of 7 equals i to the power of 6 times i which is equal to minus 1 times by i, which is minus i. And i to the power of 8, i to the power of 8 is equal to i to the power of 7 times by i, which is equal to minus 1, sorry, minus i times i, which is equal to uh, 1. So as you notice, i to the power of 4 is the same as this, and it basically just repeats as a cycle. And part c, find the values of, like write down the value of i to the power of 100 and more. So it's a bit more complicated, right? And i to the power of 100. And we can notice that, we can notice that every fourth power, the power, uh, the value repeats itself. So we have uh, i to the power of 3 right here. So i to the power of 3 to, uh, plus by 4 in terms of the power would be i to the power of 7, right? And we can see that i to the power of 7 is equal to the same value as i to the power of 3 of minus i, like so, right? Therefore, we can notice that uh, every power, uh, every fourth power repeats itself. That means i to the power of 4 is equal to 1, right? Therefore, any multiples of 4 in terms of the power is equal to 1. So we can see that i, uh, 100, the power, is divisible, is, uh, divisible by 4, right? Because 100 divided by 25 is 4. Therefore, i to the power of 100 is just the same as i to the power of 4. And this will be equal to 1. And uh, number two, oops, this is part i. So part, uh, number two, i to the power of two five three. So we can we have to notice that um, we have to notice that two five three is not divisible by two uh, by four, but instead two four uh, two five two. Two five two is divisible by four because it's equal to a whole number, right? That means you can see that two five two to two five three is a difference of one power. That means i to the power of 253 equals i to the power of 1, which is equal to just i. So, oops, i. And for part uh, 3, it's i to the power of 301. And we have to also notice that 301, 301 is not divisible by 0, but instead 300 is divisible by 0 because 300 divided by 4 is equal to 75. And as you can see just now, it's a, it's a difference, or like the power is difference of 1, right? Because it's a difference of 1. That means i to the power of 301 is just equal to i to the power of 1. 
which is equal to i. And that's the final answer. And that's it for this question's video for 1.2, where today we look into 1.2 for multiplying complex numbers. And I hope you find it useful and helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and ring the notification button to miss any future videos. And if you have any questions or any comments regarding my channel or my YouTube or my Instagram, you can leave them down below and I'll reply to them. And check out my social media in the description, for example, LinkedIn or YouTube or Instagram. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check out my website in the description or you can type it out in your browser at www.emaceeasy.com. And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful and I'll see you on the next video, which will be 1.3 complex conjugates for the rules and examples, which will be interesting. But until then, stay safe and happy learning. Thank you.